hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your favorite girl mono for today's tutorial i am going to be showing you how to tie this simple round gilly with a bow if this is something you're interested in watching please stick around with me To achieve this style, I am using an O1 best sized Ashoke. The Ashoke has three layers and it is 75 inches long. Alright, so I started off by dividing it into two equal halves like you saw me do there. And then at the center of the ghillie, I'm going to take in at least one inch and then I'm going to place it on the model's head. So the measurement I'm going to be using is 6040 and to get that I put my finger at the center of the head using my thumb and my index finger. So from the center of the gilly I move um, 10 inches if that makes sense. So basically I am assuming that the space between my thumb and my index finger is 10%, right? So when I move, I assume that that is 60-40, if that makes sense. All right, so in case you don't already know, we assume that the gain is 100%. So when I say 60-40%, it means that one side is going to be longer than the other side by 40%. Or 60% if that makes sense all right so I've gone ahead to create base pleats on the gilly I'm crossing at the back for me I usually like to put the shorter hand under the longer one because most times I tend to work with the shorter hand first it might work differently for other people but this is what works for me so and I use it all the time so I'm going to make pleats on this hand, the short flap that I just brought forward. I am going to make a few pleats and then secure it with my office pins just to keep them in place while I work on the other side. Once I am done with this, I am going to move on to the other side and also make pleats on that flap, okay? Only that this time I am going to pleat that flap until the last one, okay? So it means I'm going to pleat, make round pleats on that flap till I get to the end of the fabric. If you have watched this video up until this point and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you can become a part of this awesome family. When you do, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends. You never can tell who needs to see this. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section. I try as much as I can to respond to every question. Although sometimes YouTube filters some questions away and then I don't see them. But when I do see them, I try to respond to them. All right. So if you have any video suggestions for me, please leave them in the comment section. Or better still, you can send me a picture of the style you want me to recreate on my Instagram page. The handle is on the screen right now. So at this point, I am done pleating the entire ghillie. So I have my round pleats sitting nice. Okay, I'm just trying to arrange them to look really nice. Okay, so I am going to take the other hand 
and then um, finish up the pleats as well. So now that I have everything nicely pleated, I am going to cross it and uh, make a knot, just one knot there and I'm going to leave you to, you know, um, finish watching the video. The rest of the video is really um, self-explanatory. So you're going to see how I formed my bow there. I have, uh, I've done this style before but I used a different method and I think I did that on the mannequin. So on the human head, you can see how I achieved the style without having to tie with rope because I got a lot of questions on that previous video if it was necessary to tie down with thread or if the style can be achieved without using the thread tying method. Okay, so this is it here. You can achieve that style, that same style without having to tie with thread. Okay. Thank you guys for 36,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you for watching this video. Until I come your way next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget, Jesus loves you.